What is up you happy hustlers out there? Carrie Jack here, super stoked for day four, purposeful work. This is quite possibly one of the most important elements that we will discuss throughout this entire course. It is all about really doing something that you love, something that brings you passion and that fills you up with purpose and that gives you the meaning and the positive impact that you wanna have. And I wanna start things off with a quote and that is, the future is not preordained. It unfolds according to actions taken. And that is by Stephen Covey. And I wanna just really start with telling you a little bit about a story, something that happened in my life when I realized that I was way out of balance and I was not doing purposeful work. And that was when I was hustling, but not happy in New York City. My brother and I started a tech company called Feedbacker. It was essentially quantifying feedback and we created this algorithm that could quantify feedback for the entertainment industry, but then we realized that this could be used for job searches or for dating you know, websites or for many different uses. And so we decided to put this, this technology together in an app, in a web-based portal. We went through this whole process in New York City for six months, hustling, grinding, just going to meetings and networking events and pitch contests. And we're trying to get VC funding when we're trying to get about a million dollars to raise essentially our, our first round of funding for our, our startup, our tech startup. And it wasn't until we had meetings with Microsoft, IBM and multiple like well-known investors and actually got the deals that we were looking. We got seven figure funding deals ready to be signed that we realized this isn't what we want. We really don't want to be grinded in New York City right now and for the next five years be, you know, beholden to these investors and have our future dictated by the company and our share price having to essentially outweigh the mission, which was to really help people by quantifying feedback. So we pivoted and we, I moved to Bangkok, Thailand for nine months and my brother went back and got his master's from the University of Florida. But the point of that story is to show you that even when you do accomplish the goal of hustling and you realize that, mm, man, this is the goal I was after and I accomplished it, like getting the funding deal that like for us in particular, it wasn't even at all remotely rewarding because we realized how unfulfilling that work was going to be and was and the future projections of what we were going to have to do in order to really make that company a success just weren't worth it. So we pivoted and we did something that really does fill us up with joy. You know, I started writing The Happy Hustle, my first book, um, you know, was creating different things online, uh, also doing acting and modeling, but I found stuff that really filled me up and not, you know, something that I thought I should do, which is you know, start a tech company. Now, the important part for you is just to acknowledge first and foremost where you are currently in your work right now. Like, do you actually like what you do? Or maybe you hate it. Do you enjoy what you work on? Like in terms of your overall company mission, is it in the industry that you like, but maybe your company's off? You have to ask yourself these questions. Do you have a conflict with your boss or with your coworkers? Is that causing you know stress and anxiety in your life? Because the ultimate goal of really finding purposeful work is to just be happy and, and be able to you know put food on the table and provide for your family. But at what cost are you doing it right now? And the first step is acknowledging your current situation. If you could take money out of it right now, Ask yourself, what would you want to be doing every single day? What would you want to get up and do tomorrow? Maybe you want to create, you know, an online course. Maybe you want to, you know, start your own, you know, YouTube channel. Maybe you want to paint. Maybe you want to create, you know, jewelry. I don't know what it is for you, but you have to acknowledge first step where you are right now. And then second step is make a game plan. You know, after you acknowledge if you are happy or unhappy, or maybe you're just not as fulfilled as you want to be, then you have to really start making a game plan. Where do you want to go? What kind of work do you want to be doing? And it's important to think through this. You know, it's not just a quick, hey, you know, I think I'd like to do, uh, 
you know, race car driving in the F1 circuit. I don't know where that came from, that example. But the point is, you have to think through what is realistic and what is actually going to speak to your soul. So you don't just get off track and then have to come backwards again and uh, identify what current situation you're in and then have to go backwards and make another new game plan after you realize that that wasn't it. Why don't you spend the time right now thinking through what is the purposeful work that you want in your life right now and really acknowledge what that game plan is. Now, the important part here is solving problems that speak to you, to your soul. So what is something that you feel passionate about? What is something that almost brings you to tears when you think about or really gets you so ecstatic and emotionally charged because you're so excited and it brings so much joy to your life? You know, what is that for you? Is it health and fitness related and you want to solve a problem in that health and fitness field? Okay, great. What is it for you is the question right now that you have to ask. And I I just want to bring these questions, your awareness, and we'll go through deeper, obviously, you know, within the the coursework. But just ask yourself these questions, you know, what problem can you solve that is related to something that you really do love, that fills you up with joy or fills you up with anger that you want to solve that problem so bad, right? And that's really all business is, solving people's problems. So create, you know, a, a solution to that innovative problem and make it purposeful, make it something that really makes a positive impact on the planet and the people that you're serving. And you will find purposeful work within that journey and you will find a lot more happiness within that hustle. So I hope you got some value from this one. Purposeful work is an essential module, really is all about doing something that you love, as cliche as it sounds, find out what that is, create the game plan, and then just solve problems within that niche. All right? Hope you got some value. Peace and love, and I'll see you on the next one.